Hi, welcome back to the Custom Saber Shop on YouTube. My name is Rob. I go by the handle Mad Cow on the forums. And today I'm going to show you how to wire up one of these little bad boys. This is the new uh, PLI made for box style number one, which is that box here. Um, so I'm going to show you how to wire this, but uh, just by way of introduction, if you're, uh, if you're thinking of something like this for your Sabre, um, it really it's quite simple. I mean, uh, I'm not going to use these wires a little bit later, but you would, you would get your Sabre part. Uh, now this one's a hilt style with a, with a switch hole drilled in it. Um, you would want to, uh, to request that your hilt part have the, uh, the specific holes drilled for box style one. So if you go to the Custom Saver shop and you go to the services section of the website, you just select um, the box one mounting hole service and then just specify where on your part that will, that will go and then you'll get the holes machine so you can just attach this box directly. But uh, really what this is is it allows you to have a PLI. This is just to give you an idea of what it looks like. So when it's attached to a hilt, you know, you're going to get a box that's going to stick out from the hilt like that, similar to the old style Graflex sabers. And of course, you're going to have a, a button there and you're going to have your PLI here. Um, so that's how that operates. But uh, we're not going to we're not going to get too much into the different ways you can utilize this particular unit, which is nice because it's got the PLI and it's got a momentary switch. So if you want to use this with a, with a Nano Biscotti a soundboard or if you want to use this with a Palulu board for a saber without sound, um, you can do that. Now I've got my tiny little Allen key here um, for these 256 screws, which are really, really small. And I'm just going to pull these out and uh, recommend working on a nice flat surface so that you don't lose these tiny little screws. Of course, I'll li link to those screws in the description. Actually, those screws are linked in the when you go to purchase this PLI you can get those screws. And of course the uh, box style one right here is uh, sold separately. Um, but just know that this PLI works with this box style one. So we're gonna set these aside and we're just gonna focus on this today. Now when your unit comes to you from the Custom Saver Shop, it's not gonna have these handy wire connectors uh, attached. Um, you're gonna have to, uh, to just to look on the little uh, diagrams that are provided and figure out where your switch wires go. It's these yellow guys here, right there. And then these uh, these are to and, and from the battery. So this will, this will plug into our battery and this one will carry on to our, uh, our electronics, our LED, our switch, our Nano Biscotti soundboard, our Palulu board, whatever it is that, that's set up in your Sabre. Um, so it's a, a really simple setup. You know, switch wires on these two and uh, positive and negative on the other two. So it comes with a default setup for a, uh, a 3.7 volt battery, like this 18650 here. So if I plug this 18650 here into the positive and negative, I want to make sure that the red wire goes to the red wire and the black wire goes to the black wire. There we go. Lights up. It tells me that this 3.7 volt battery is a full charge. Um, I'm going to show you how to, in a minute, how to set it up for a, uh, for a 7.4 volt battery. Something like this or larger. We'll get to that in a minute. But before we do, uh, I want to show you one little trick that you can do to change the function of this. You'll notice that when I when I plug it in, you've got all your LEDs lit up. You know, as the battery drains down, then you know the green will wear down, and eventually it'll get to amber and just red when the battery is really, really low. But it's fairly full right now. Um, I also want to point out that when you have this hooked up in your saber, and you maybe you pull the kill key to activate power, and you see it light up, and then you activate your saber. Well, when the sound card and the LED is drawing power, you're probably going to notice a drop in the registered voltage of your battery because it's being used by all your electronics. Right now, this, is, this isn't powering anything except our, our LEDs, so it's, uh, it's showing full. The uh, little diagram stipulates that you cut this little leg here. So I'm going to go and do that and show you what that does. Now I want to inspect it and make sure that they're not touching any of the other metal. All I've done is I've just snipped it and then moved the, the leg out of the way. So now that I've snipped that leg, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to plug this in, again making sure red wire to red wire, black wire to black wire. Watch what's going to happen. Well, I'm only, I'm only given one LED. See, instead of all of them lighting up, it's just lighting up the top one, showing me that it's full. And as this battery wears down, 
I would still get one single LED all the way down into the red. So it's just an option if you would rather have one LED showing at a time as opposed to all of them, making like a bar up and down, showing how many bars. So the bars, like the full, full battery, leave it when it comes to you. If you want to do a single LED, snip that leg like I just showed you. So that's one option you have with this. Now another option you have with this is uh, is you can you can set it up for a 7.4 volt cell. And the, the little diagram when you buy it says that you bridge these pads. And bridge means you just connect. So you could use a tiny little piece of wire, or you can, I'm gonna turn the, uh, the heat down on my solder so that it globs a little bit. And I'm just gonna, gonna create a glob that bridges those two pads. I think I did it there. There we go. Now I have a glob of solder that bridges those two pads. I want to inspect it, make sure they're touching and connected. And now, now that those two pads are bridged, I can now plug it in to a 7.4 volt cell. So I want to make sure that uh, black wire to black wire, red wire to red wire, plug it in. And now it works with a 7.4 volt cell showing that this battery is full as well. Now remember I've got it in single LED mode from the mod that I showed you last time. If I was to connect it now, now that it's in 7.4 volt mode, if I was to connect it to the old 3.7 battery, it doesn't even light up at all because it's set up for a different voltage now that I've bridged those. And if I want to go back, I would just need to make sure that I break or unbridge that solder connection, clean it up with my soldering gun, maybe a little bit of wire braid, so that those aren't those two little tiny posts aren't connected anymore, and I could go back to using it with with a single cell. Now the last thing I want to show you is just a couple of different things you can do with this if you don't want to use it in box style one. Um, there is a different PLI, and the the the, the changes and the things that I've shown you today, um, you can do those with the other PLI that doesn't have the button, um, but uh, if you want to use it in your saber in a double female part, you can get this tube that you can buy at the custom saber shop the link to in the description and it fits inside your saber body you can uh, you can cut a groove in your double female with a dremel or a milling machine and then you can glue this inside the tube and line it up with where your opening and your saber is that's one way of establishing uh, PLI inside a saber um, another way is you can get uh, this um, transparent heat shrink now this will be available at most electronic shops or you might be able to find it online and this basically goes over, you would cut, snip it, and then you would heat it up and it would provide a, a transparent protective coating so that these electronics don't short circuit against the body of your saber while it's inside your saber. Um, so that's just a couple of different ways to utilize this new uh, product from the Custom Saber Shop. Thanks again for watching.